Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly messages for August 2nd through 8th, 2021. This week we have the Leo New Moon on the 8th in conjunction with the peak of the Lion's Gate portal energy. And Lion's Gate actually goes from July 28th through August 12th and it's when the Earth is in alignment with Galactic Center. So this is a time of receiving very high vibrational waves of energy from Galactic center. It's a time of healing. It's a time of growing, a time of expansion, and a time of new things pairing up with that beautiful Leo new moon. So Aries, let's get right into your read and see what's happening for you guys this week. We'll pull a general energy card, then a couple highlights, and then tarot to go in deeper, and then we'll do a second reading to look at your love and romance energies. So show us Aries. Oh, look at that. Aries, the world is your overall energy this week. Um, major completion coming into play for some of you guys. And this is different for all of you. This is just a general read. But the energy is being projected towards Aries this week is allowing for major completion in some area of your life. This could be education. This could be career. This could be um, a healing process. All right. It's to me, I'm feeling like this is the end, which opens the door for the beginning of something really good. So this is a happiness. This is a celebration of completion. This isn't fear-based energy of, oh no, this isn't what I wanted. This is, yes, I am ready. I am done. Um, also, Aries, uh, some of you, and Spirit's saying this is going out beyond like this week, but giving you a heads up because you're getting like these feelings or like these premonitions is so bizarre like of this vacation, this travel, this journey um, that you're going on. And right now in this moment, you don't have any immediate plans for a trip, travel, vacation. But Spirit says eight weeks, eight weeks from now, within eight weeks, expect some sort of spontaneous invite, long weekend, camping trip, vacation, traveling across the world, like something coming in unexpectedly that takes you to a different location. And I'm feeling a lot of you like an unexpected vacation. So that's just an interesting message that Spirit threw out there for some of you. But there you go, Aries. Beautiful energy for the overall week. Let's pull a card and see what your soul is telling you for this week. What does your soul want to say? Candle magic, working the invisible. Ooh, so some intentions that you've put out in the past, all right? Something you've been working quite hard to manifest. Aries is coming in this week. Your soul wants you to know that, all right? It's going to happen. Something of the past finally returns to the present, and boom, manifest. It's time. You are ready. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's see what your money and abundance are saying to you for this week, Aries. Okay, the sword. You know what? This sword has shown up for at least um, three or four other readings before you guys. I can't remember all of them, um, otherwise I would direct you. Pisces was one for sure, and I think Virgo, and there's a third um, that I just can't quite remember. But if you have, um, you know, a Pisces or Virgo moon, or uh, strong energies of those, maybe check those readings out. But okay, Aries, what I'm feeling with this is you, this is more of like you have felt restricted financially. 
Um, money's been tight for many of you. Now, not all of you are going to resonate with that read uh, or that message in this reading, but that's what Spirit is saying to me about this card is you guys have been in a struggle financially. Things have been just very, very tight, uncomfortable, and I love this. You're coming to the end of that. Some magic is coming into your world financially or with your abundance this week, Aries. And lastly, let's pull a card for a highlight of overall energy with relationships, all relationships, friends, family, romance, co-workers, all of it. What does spirit want you to know about your relationship energy? Longing. You are pining for someone who may not be available or right for you now. Okay, so many Aries out there are feeling a sadness of a disconnection. And this is of a friend, of a romance, of a family member. It's different for all of you. And these are more of your general uh, messages. So, um, you know, we could look at this as just a friend or family member. But since it's general, I'll open it up to romance as well. And it's like you really just had this person heavy heavy on your heart and this week may not be the week of healing of reconciliation okay um it's like this person has to get through some things first or you've got to get through some things first and with this energy aries it could be that this week the magic that takes place in your life opens you up to be ready for a reconnection with somebody okay um if you're waiting on them to be ready i feel like spirit is saying there's more time that's needed but if this is you if you've been holding your energy back from a family member from a friend from a romance for whatever reason there's a lot that's changing inside you, inside your world this week, which may allow you to finally overcome that and um, feel the spiritual and emotional strength to reach out to bridge the gap, okay? Now, if it's not you, Aries, that needs to bridge that gap, I feel as though right now, Spirit is saying, focus on the magic that's playing out for you this week and think about this person next week. Like, put it on the back burner for now. This is not the week um, that they'll come charging back into your life. It's like they've got to figure a few things out. I feel like um, this isn't like a negative forever always, like you'll never hear from this person again. But it's like Spirit's saying, if you're waiting for them to reach out to you, you just get caught up in the magic of what's happening for you this week and um, think about this more next week. Like the energy will be different for this person next week, okay? Um, now, again, if this is you where you've been holding off, okay, from reaching out, from bridging a gap, if you know 100% it's on your shoulders this week, Aries, you'll be able to cut all the cords that have held you back and held you down, okay? So that's a bit of an interesting message there. So let's pull in um, some tarot and go deeper into this world energy. And then we'll also pull a card to look at the Leo new moon, as well as this Lion Gates energy specifically for Aries. And you know, um, if you're waiting on somebody, a friend, family member, or romance, where you know, you know they have to be the one to bridge the gap, Spirit is saying like they feel a longing in their heart too like they want to make this right as well it's just they might not know how to they might not be in the right um, mind space heart space this week but that lion's gate energy is also working on them aries all right Oh my gosh, look at you, the world with the world. Three of pentacles, energies coming together for you like magic, happiness, ten of cups, the devil, we are overcoming Aries, and oh look at this, the ace of cups, Leo new moon, we have the queen of cups, and the lion's gate, we have the three of wands, oh my gosh, you know what Aries, um, 
there was a very similar message to this in Pisces reading as well okay um, so if this is a Pisces person that you are you know disconnected from friend family member romance oh my gosh yes it is on both of your hearts but here's the thing like I feel like if you are waiting on this person to reach out to you there's almost this sense of like they're also in turn waiting for you to reach out to them and that's why I may have gotten jumbled in that message originally okay it's like you're both kind of waiting on each other and at a bit of a stalemate all right so um this uh Travel, unexpected vacation, all of that, yes, Aries, it is in your future. Here it is, um, like a, a group of people or, you know, with the Ace of Cups here, this could just be you and one person, but I see it more like you, you're you going with a group of people and it just kind of comes out of nowhere quite unexpectedly and it's a blessing being bestowed upon you, Aries, okay? And I don't know why Spirit would bring that up in a weekly read um, and not just leave that as a surprise, but I get pulled back to like you've been having like these thoughts, these premonitions, these feelings um, like here with the Queen of Cups where it's like you're just sitting there and it's almost like you could feel waves of water flowing over your feet like you're standing on the beach um, or even like uh, somewhere um, where there's like slot machines and, and gambling um, with the Three of Pentacles like you get these flashes, these visions, these feelings, okay? So for those of you where that has been playing out, is because there is like this beautiful like adventure, trip, journey that's just going to like come into your life unexpectedly as a gift, Aries. Um, and if this is not about a vacation, Aries, this week there is a gift being bestowed upon you and things getting better for you guys financially, okay? This world, big time completion of some heavy financial issues, you know, where you felt in the struggle, you like under the devil's thumb. Now you are moving into that Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups energy where you're feeling like you're rising back to above the surface and it feels good and you feel happy and you're feeling blessed and um, this could be where there's like some family members or there's some people around you that are coming in to really help you out of a heavy time right now. Um, if you feel like you're running out of options or there's nobody around, Aries, there's some magic coming in this week where somebody is really going to help you out or like a group of people of like family coming in to help you out and save the day, be there for you. And also, Aries, those of you where... Um, Sorry, I'm just getting over a head cold. Um, those of you who are, you know, really thinking about somebody that you are disconnected from and they're thinking about you as well, um, Aries, I just feel that no matter who needs to bridge the gap, you guys are waiting on each other. You absolutely are, okay? It's like we're waiting on each other here. Like, I want peace, I want restoration, I want to make this right. You are a part of me, you are a part of the rainbow of my soul. And they feel that way about you, but this devil, like, there is something that keeps blockage, okay? And you both have been struggling with that. Um, but there's some magic here, and Aries, if you feel like this person needs to reach out to you, this week, ask spirit. Say, give me signs. Give me synchronicity. Is it I who needs to reach out to them? Okay? And um, you'll know. You'll know, Aries. Um, some of you, this is like, definitely they're going to come back in. Some of you, this is like, you need to um, go back in. But then, you know, there's this confusion of, do I, do I not? Who needs to reach out? You know, how can this healing come into play? And since this is general, and it looks really positive um, if you reach out, but because it's general, I want you to personally ask Spirit to give you signs in your life, in your reality, that it's the right time to try to bridge that gap if you feel like you've been waiting on them, okay? Because what I see is both hearts, two worlds, both hearts 
want to bridge the gap back to a place of love okay really strong with family energy with that ten of cups and now you know here with the Leo new moon you got the Queen of Cups and oh my gosh you know what in Pisces that was the king of cups I'm sorry the king of wands and you are fire okay so some of you there's a really strong Pisces connection here um, not all of you obviously but man those of you who need that uh, confirmation there you go anyways it's like this Leo uh, new moon is trying to bring the energy of healing between you and another person and it's coming through if this is not you know a Pisces water sign person it's coming through because of the emotions here where you both have this desire of healing regardless of what's happened in the past like it's just the calling of your soul the calling of their soul and um, with this Leo I'm sorry with the lion's gate energy it's like the time is now. Everything's finally aligning for you and a friend, you and a family member, you and a romance to bridge the gap and come back together in a place of understanding, of healing, of peace, of harmony, and overcoming the devil energy in which separated. Okay? And aside from a relationship healing in your life, money healing coming in, a lot of support for Aries and uh, an unexpected trip, vacation uh, being offered to Aries. And you know, if this again isn't a trip or vacation, I still see some sort of gift of love being offered to Aries in some capacity this week. And it feels magical because this is something you've been asking for in the past and it comes through. And I say gift of love because you are receiving it very strong in the emotional body. Even if it's like a physical gift being bestowed upon you, you feel it so deeply in the emotional body. So that's why I call it a gift of love so beautiful gift of love coming to all Aries this week somehow some way financial situations job situations improving completion of some heavy energy um, for a lot of you attached around a struggling relationship that means a lot to you in your life and the timing finally coming into play for you guys to heal for you guys to understand each other okay so um, I'm going to pull another card to go a bit deeper into this energy of the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands with the Leo New Moon and Lion's Gate energy. All right. Sacred Geometry Activator. You have sacred ge geometric codes to anchor ley lines. Oh, wow. Okay. So part of the healing of this relationship is truly contingent upon different things activating inside of you, inside of them. And this Lion's Gate energy, Aries are those activators for both of you. Um as well as some of you that are working more on a completing of a lesson, of education, of just life lessons. It's different for all of you. Yeah, as you come to the end of this, through this Lion's Gate energy, there's different things being activated inside of you, giving you a different perspective, giving you new ideas, raising you to a place mentally and emotionally that you weren't previously able to access. So Aries, this is like a week of turning point in so many different ways for you in many positive ways for you. So let's pull one final message before we get into the love and romance energies. I access matters carefully and discern wisely. Okay, and so you have a waxing gibbous moon, which means you are building up to the completion, to the manifestation. And so Aries this week may very well be the prep um, for those of you in a strained relationship and situation. This week is the prep, the completion of loose ends in both of you. And next week brings the reconciliation. Okay, or this if we apply it to like job, money, career. 
you are moving into that um, energy of improvement and beautiful change, yet there is much more positive to come on that. This gift of love being offered to Aries, it's just the beginning. There's so much more to harvest from it, okay? So Aries, you are blessed. This week is the turning point where you're feeling the magic finally come back into play. And those of you with this really strange relationship and situation, seriously, ask Spirit to give you very solid signs am I to reach out give me a sign when is that right time are they going to reach out to me give me a sign and the angels will lead you because both of you really want to heal with each other that's so beautiful all right Aries let's get into your love and romantic energy specifically and see how that is playing out for you guys this week all right well we had one jump have best part if life were a movie being with each other would be the best part you both bring out the better parts of each other and getting to know each other enjoy discovering new commonalities goals and dreams as you get to learn more about each other beautiful and a new chapter. A fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. All right. Uh, first and foremost, single Aries, you are about to come out of that energy, whether that be um, a very, <laughs> look at next card very soon. Yes, we'll go ahead and take that. Um, whether that be a brand new love or a returning love. Okay, um, general read, so I keep the door open to both, but you are not going to be single much longer. Like, it's time for love. The completion of this energy is opening you up to solid, committed love. A Oh my gosh, as I'm cutting the cards to uh, pull on here, look at the world. Yes, Aries. You are, your singleness is coming to an end. That world energy is pouring into your love and romance energies, okay? And uh, committed Aries, uh, what I get with this is, you know, more attached to your general energy as your life is improving this week. It actually, you know, impacts your romance in a positive way and you feel an improvement in that area as well. But this is mainly a message for a single Aries out there. Um, yes, Aries, it's just about time for you to come into a beautiful divine union. And you may have just recently met this person, okay? Um, some of you, this person is about to come in. It goes either way, or this is a return love. And um, being together, if this is a new person, like, you just feel such happiness and joy, both of you. It's like I, the best parts of me come forward when I'm with you. You make me want to be a better person. You inspire me. You uplift me. Like, that's how you guys are feeling the more that you get to know each other. And this new chapter, you know, this is for those of you where this person's about to come in. It's the start of a whole new journey of love with this person. Those of you who have just recently met this person, um, it's like we go from this getting to know each other in to a solid commitment very very quickly all right and those of you where this is going to be a return love you come back together because you realize you were happiest together nobody else compares and you're going to get to know each other again and it's like no matter what's happened you're starting over brand new and fresh with each other and because of that missing somebody that deep longing some of you this very well could be um who we were talking about through all of the general messages. So let's just pull a couple clarifiers. Oh yeah, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and nine of pentacles okay couples you guys are doing great you're doing great this week okay singles those of you with this return person you uh, might not be quite open to it initially 
but through a deep conversation and sharing and communicating with each other you're going to understand why somebody did and said what they did why like you're going to get that why answered which really allows you to put some heavy energy, heavy emotions, heavy thoughts about them in the past and start anew with them. Okay, so those of you with reconciliations, I feel like there is a need for communication for you to fully understand why certain things went down the way they did. And once you do, it's very freeing. It's very liberating for you. Okay, new person coming in. You both have been quite hurt in the past and closed off to maybe being um, vulnerable and open again to a new love. But because of just how well you guys vibe with each other, you both break down each other's walls. And here are the Nine of Pentacles, very long-term potential to this relationship, this connection. All right. Um, and some of you, lastly, this new love or this returning love could live at a distance from you with all this world energy. And maybe that's how the the gap that needs to be bridged like you guys finally are going to be able to figure that out this week or maybe um, they're going to offer you a ticket to come see them okay because remember that unexpected vacation did show up so Aries beautiful in general beautiful in love you are blessed this week those are your messages I am sending you lots of love and light take care